Hi folks, Mike Rankin here with a three minute max tip for you. This one is about the most efficient way to switch between workspaces in InDesign. You probably know that in InDesign, you can go up to the window menu and choose various workspaces to show different arrangements of panels. And you might also know that you can create your own custom workspaces by arranging the panels the way you want and then choosing new workspace right here. And that's what I did. I created workspaces for working with colors and I created another one for working with long documents. But you might not know that you can assign every workspace a keyboard shortcut so you can switch between them instantly. Here's how to do that. Go to the edit menu and choose keyboard shortcuts. Create a new set and I'll just name this Mike. And in the product area, you need to choose the window menu because that's where the workspace commands are. And then the commands are arranged alphabetically. So scroll down near the bottom and we'll find our workspaces. So first of all, notice that you can assign default workspaces keyboard shortcuts, but we're gonna, what we're gonna do right here is assign our custom or user workspaces keyboard shortcuts. So I'll select one. I'll go down in the new shortcut field, put my cursor down there and just type the keyboard shortcut that I wanna use and click assign. And then I'll find my second user workspace and do the same thing. Click new shortcut, type the shortcut I wanna use and click assign. Then we'll click save and okay. And now I can use those two keyboard shortcuts to switch between my workspaces for working with long documents and with colors. And it's just that easy. So that's how to assign keyboard shortcuts to workspaces. Well, that's good. That's good. It's a little thing. You know, setting workspaces is a little thing, uh, but it's an important thing. You know, if you're trying to work quickly in InDesign and you're trying to move, you know, open some panels, close panels, you want to use workspaces. It's just one of those things. But Mike's approach of applying keyboard shortcuts to it, that's brilliant. It's great because you want to keep your hands on the keyboard as much as you can when you're working, right? It's just faster that way. So applying a keyboard shortcut to your workspaces I, I love it. It's a little thing, but sometimes it's the little things that make the biggest difference when you're really trying to be efficient in InDesign. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And for lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.